fellow YouTubers. Due to the massive popularity of series like Alex Reed, Twilight, and some guy who's only doing it, N Reed, Harry Potter, and Twilight, I've decided to do my own version because I enjoy jumping on bad wagons and read the infamous fanfiction Mine Immortal. It used to be on fanfiction.net, but it's been put up in various places. They probably deleted it because they cannot stand the terrible English used. When I say terrible, this is, these aren't just mistakes you can forgive. These are just... It is meant to be a Harry Potter fanfiction. That's all I'm going to tell you as I throw you headfirst into this travesty that is supposedly writing. So, here goes. Chapter 1. Note from the author, special thanks, gothic because I'm gothic, to my new GF. You, not in that way, Raven, bloody peers 666, for helping me with the story and spelling. You rock, Justin, you're the love of my depressing life. You rock too, MCR rocks, has about 17 pieces. This is hurting me more than you. Hi. Right, we're getting into the story now. Hi. My name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven Way. And I have long ebony black hair. That's how I got my name. With purple streaks and red tips that reaches my mid back and icy blue eyes like limpid tears. Did you know what limpid means? And a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. I know it's Melissa. If you don't know who she is, get the hell out of here. I'm not related to Ger Ger Gerard, Gerard, one of the three, way, but I wish I was because he's a major fucking hottie. Ugh. That's so weird. Why would you want to be related to someone because they're good looking? That would just be more incestuous and gross. I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. Convenient. I have pale white skin. I'm also a witch and go to a magic school called Hogwarts in England. Hogwarts is in Scotland. Where I'm in the seventh year. I'm 17. I'm a goth, in case you couldn't tell, and I wear mostly black. I love Hot Topic and I buy all my clothes from there. For example, I was wearing a black corset with matching lace around it and a black leather miniskirt, pink fishnets and black combat boots. I was wearing black lipstick, white foundation, black eyeliner, and red eyeshadow. I was walking outside Hogwarts. It was snowing and raining, so there was no sun, which I was very happy about. A lot of preps stared at me. I put my middle finger up at them. So in one ridiculously long paragraph, um, she's basically says that she wants to bang the lead singer of a band that used to be terrible. She looks like Amy Lee and doesn't know what the word limpid means. Oh, she's also a vampire and likes to describe her outfit so much. Hey, Ebony, shouted a voice. I looked up. It was Draco Malfoy. What's up, Draco, I asked. Nothing, he said shyly. But then I heard my friends call me and had to go away. End of chapter one. Massive cliffhanger. More 17 X's. A note. Is it good? Please tell me, Fangs. Chapter 2. A note. Thanks to Bloody Tears 666 for helping me with the chapter. BTW, preps, stop claiming my story, okay? Kisses 666 more kisses. Next day I woke up in my bedroom. It was snowing and raining again. I opened the door of my coffin and drank some blood from a bottle I had. Whose blood is this? Which poor Hufflepuff has she killed? My coffin was black ebony and inside it was hot pink velvet with black lace on the end. Tasteful coffin. I got out of my coffin and took my giant MCR t-shirt which I used for pyjamas. Instead, I'd put on a black leather dress, a pentagram necklace, combat boots and black fishnets on. I'd put on four pairs of earrings in my pierced ears. Well, if your ears weren't pierced, how would you put four pairs of earrings in your ears? 
and put my hair in a kind of messy bun. My friend Willow, and no, Raven, this is you, woke up and then grinned at me. She flipped her long waist-length raven black hair with pink streaks and opened her forest green eyes. She put on her Marion Manson t-shirt with a black mini, fishnets and pointy high-heeled boots. We put on our makeup, black lipstick, white foundation and black eyelash. She doesn't ex explain what this mini is. Is it a mini skirt? Is it a mini dress? Is it a mini? Is it in the car? Oh, MFG, I saw you talking to Draco and Malfoy yesterday, she said excitedly. Yeah, so, I said, blushing. Do you like Draco, she asked, as we went out of the Slytherin common room and into the Great Hall. No, I so fucking don't, I shouted. Yeah, right, she exclaimed. Where did she get these ways of people speaking? Said is acceptable. Just then, Draco walked up to me. Hi, he said. Hi, I replied flirtily. Guess what, he said. What, I asked. Well, good Charlotte are having a concert in Hogsmeade, he told me. Oh my fucking god, I screamed. I love GC. They are my favourite band besides MCR. Well, do you want to go with me, he asked. I gasped. And that is the end of chapters one and two. Tomorrow is chapters three and four, which involve eyeliner and limpid tears and here's a sneak peek. Then he put his thingy in my you know what and what the hell are you doing you motherfuckers? You could guess which character said that. I'm going to stop bothering you.